Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Lambda function using a deployment package. Deployment packages are used uh, to create Lambda functions when you have a dependencies on uh, external packages or libraries. So if you have some third party library or your own uh, Python package as a dependency for your code, you need to package everything together as a deployment package and upload it to Lambda. Okay, so uh, let's do uh, this with the help of an example. So uh, I have a simple Lambda function. So um, let's assume my Lambda like I mean, is using import request library. Okay, and I'm just pinging uh, google.com using request. So let's try and run this and see what happens. Okay, so when I run this, what the error that I'm getting is uh, there is no module named, uh, named request. That is because requests uh, package doesn't come in build. So what we need to do is we need to create a deployment package uh, along with the request uh, library and then package everything together and then upload it to Lambda. So uh, let's see how to do that. So to create a deployment package, I'm using uh, AWS Cloud Shell. So you can open Cloud Shell by clicking this icon. You can also do this in uh, EC2 instance, or even if you are, I mean, you can do it in your local as well and uh, uh, upload it to Lambda. Okay, so uh, just for simplicity, I'm going to do it in uh, AWS Cloud Shell. Okay, so let's wait for this uh, Cloud Shell to come up. Okay, um, in my Cloud Shell, um, I'm just going to list. Okay, I'm going to create a folder and name it uh, lambda demo okay and let's cd into that so here first we will create uh, our uh, lambda function code and uh, make sure you name it uh, lambda function dot py itself and not uh, any other name okay so we yeah, have lambda function and uh, let's put that code that we just saw in the lambda over here Okay, so this is the code and uh, let me just save this code. Now, uh, after you have created this function, so this, the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, install that uh, request library. So what I'm going to do, pip3 install requests and make sure you install it in the directory that you are in. So I'm going to use hyphen t dot so that it installs it here itself. Okay, so let's wait for that installation to complete okay so it has installed so if you do ls now okay you can see all this uh, contents so uh, what we do need to do next is we need to zip all these contents together so i'm going to write the minus r and again let's call it as lambda package dot zip okay and dot okay so basically i have zipped everything so now if you see i'm just going to do go one directory back and if i do ls here now we can see this uh, lambda package dot zip so i'm just going to run uh, the ch mod command on this uh, just to make sure we give enough permissions for that so i'm going to and ch mod okay so let's see now this i finally okay so i think this looks good so once you have built this deployment package what we do need to do next is like let's copy this package into an s3 folder like s3 bucket and then uh, use that as a source for our lambda code okay so i'm going to copy that uh, file i mean lambda deployment package into this bucket so let's do aws s3 cp s3 hyphen slash slash and then let's paste the bucket name mm -hmm. okay am i bad i forgot to give the name of that file lambda package dot zip okay so i'm going to copy that to s3 so now here if i refresh okay so we have the lambda package dot zip in s3 so next uh what we will do is we will go to the lambda and here in the lambda under code section you can select this upload from you can select the amazon s3 location if you have built it uh, like locally you can select this zip file and upload it from your local I'm going to select that uh, Amazon S3 location and I am going to copy this uh, S3 URI 
and paste it over here save okay so fine so now this is updated so if you see you can see all those packages here sometimes like if your package is uh, very large you might not have be able to edit the code in line here okay so you will have like if there is any code change that you want to make you will have to make it uh, in your like i mean uh, uh, deployment the environment where you're creating the package and then package it again and then you can upload again so luckily for us request package is uh, very small so we are able to do that here okay so now uh, let's try and test this okay i just okay so there is some error okay it says the uh, invalid url that's fine let's give uh, https itself https www.google.com so yeah luckily we can edit the code in line here itself so we don't have to rebuild that and uh, upload the package again so let's deploy the changes and then test it yep okay so now if you see the code ran fine without uh, any like errors and here in the logs if you see it says response code is 200 so yep that's how you can uh, like build your deployment package when you have uh, dependencies on uh, third party like packages or libraries or your own uh, python package so you can package that into a deployment package uh, uh, with the steps that i explained previously and then use that package to create your create your lambda function so yep i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next video